Here we have a number of compressed air couplers. These couplers are of the traditional old style, been around since the mid 1940s. In fact, I believe this particular coupler is very similar to the one that was first introduced in the market back in about 1945. Anyway, they're still mass produced today, so they're very common, very popular. They don't claim to be high flow couplers, although if you read the literature on some of them, they claim a flow rate of 40 CFM. For example, this brand right here claims 40 cubic feet per minute, which I'll uh, get to later. Because 40 CFM is a very high flow. As a matter of fact, 40 CFM, if that's true, is a higher flow than you'll ever need if you're using a tool that connects with a quarter inch pipe thread, which all of these do. So, I don't know what to make of that. 40 CFM is rated at. At what pressure drop, they don't say. So, what we have here of what I would call actual high flow couplers. And the reason I call them high flow couplers is because they, in fact, have a very high flow rate. These couplers at extremely high flow rates, uh, for example, 50 cubic feet per minute, which is way more flow than you would ever, ever need if you're using quarter inch pipe threaded connectors. There's no air tools that use anything near that. So at 50 cubic feet per minute, uh, every one of these has a very small pressure drop. On the other hand, at 50 cubic feet per minute, these have a significant pressure drop. For example, uh, these could be anywhere from uh, 29 to 45 in terms of pressure drop. So good luck with that. Whereas these will, will be much, much less in the order of um, anywhere from 4 PSI up to, say, with a using an M-style plug, for example, the pressure drop might be as high as uh, 14 PSI. However, it seems 14 PSI is a whole lot less than 40, isn't it? Yeah. As a matter of fact, depending on the flow rate and the pressure you're using, all, every one of these can ha easily have double the flow rate of these. That's right, double the flow rate at the same pressure drop. So that's very significant. There is differences between these. For example, all of these to the left are what's commonly referred to as high flow couplers. When I say high flow, that means they use this European standard plug. Some people know it as the V-style. First invented by a company in Sweden and introduced as part of their safety eSafe series. That's the type where it's a safety coupler. The, it was originally introduced to be used in safety couplers. But ever since they introduced it, uh, there's been a trend towards using these, making these a standard in a non-safety coupler, like the, this is. And by non-safety coupler, I mean if it's under pressure and you just connect it, all the air will blow out of the plug. Any air that's in the school or in the hose will blast out of here at a very high velocity. It's very dangerous. Something to keep in mind. Anyway, uh, by the way, uh, some of these couplers will not accept any plug style except this one. It's the only one that will work. Some of these attempt to conform to other sizes. For example, the common industrial M style. And they appear to accept it. Like so. However, I'm here to tell you that if you use this plug or similar plugs in this type of coupler, even though it fits and seems to work, your flow is severely reduced because it will not open the valve inside the coupler all the way. So it'll cut your flow way, way off. In addition, it'll wobble quite a bit and be much more likely to leak and wear out faster because it's not properly supported internally because it has a different central diameter than these do. That's a problem. Some manufacturers attempt to, to deal with this in various ways. However, none of them are really effective. So when you go, when you 
switch over and you use this type of coupler, that's important to keep in mind that uh, you may or may not have any success using your existing plugs. More than likely you're going to be best off uh, just replacing all your plugs. Oh, given that these couplers have identical flow performance and work just fine with your standard plugs you already have, then there's really no reason to switch to these. As a matter of fact, there's a couple of obvious reasons not to switch to those. Because with these, you might have to swap out your plugs. With these, you get similar performance. Don't have to swap out your plugs at all. You can keep using your standard plugs. Believe it or not, if you look at these, this is a Euro plug. It has this huge hole in there. It's about 0.3 inches. It's a very, very big hole. It has double, basically double the area of this one. So, people have been led to believe, incorrectly, that this will double your flow rate because it has twice as big a hole. But that is in fact a lie. Not true. The doubling of the flow rate occurs with it. You can get double the flow rate, as I said, by continuing to use this plug, but just changing the coupler from this style to this style. I'm the only one that's going to tell you that. They won't tell you that, but I'm telling you that. It's true. Very interesting, huh? <laughs> so, a couple of other things I might want to point out is uh, this is a Stedlin coupler. Stedlin coupler is the easiest coupler to connect there is. It accepts uh, standard industrial plugs just fine with a very high flow rate. For example, this combination right here, a standard M style plug with a 3 16th hole in there. At 50 cubic feet per minute, these things will choke up on you. This will not. This has a pressure drop of just around 14 psi at 50 cubic feet per minute. Down at a more reasonable rate, which you might actually have, say 20 uh, CFM, 15, 20, uh, even up to 30, there's little pressure drop increase over these things. So that's very significant. The, also, this copper is extremely easy to connect. It takes only a few pounds of force to connect. Very easy to connect and disconnect. In fact, uh, you can connect this up to about 250 PSI, which is virtually impossible with these things. Not that you ever use it at that higher pressure, but very easy to connect. These large plugs are always uh, take more force to connect, simply because there's more active area under pressure, which just increases the force requirement. Some of them, some of these styles are extremely hard to connect. This is a uh, this is what I call the uh, full flow plug. This is a unique plug design created by Stella Manufacturing that allows you to have use these common push to connect couplers, which is what these are. I failed to mention that. All of these are push to connect couplers, just as these are. All high flow couplers are the push to connect type. That means you don't have to pull the collar back, you just push them in. You won't see this design anywhere else. That's just available from Stellan. It has a 6.1 millimeter hole through it, as opposed to this, which is under 5 millimeter. So it does increase your flow, although maybe not to the point where you'd even notice it, unless you're way up at the upper end of your, your, uh, your consumption. So it's unlikely you would even need it if you're using a, one of these uh, high flow standard couplers. There's uh, several different companies that make these couplers uh, in the uh, push to connect non high flow version. By that I mean they don't take this high flow plug. You cannot put that in there. It won't work. It'll click, but see, it's not actually in. Whereas the stainless full flow plug will actually work. It's to increase your flow if you need it. This is uh, one that came with a compressor I bought. It has a very high flow, just as high as these, in some cases higher, believe it or not. However, some of these couplers are extremely hard to connect, just like these are. Here's another brand, same thing. Very, very high flow. All these have similar flow. They can easily handle 50 cubic feet per minute. Hard to believe, but true. This is one of these uh, no-name couplers. Uh, there's probably about eight different companies selling this exact design. 
with uh, slightly different cosmetic differences. Different materials in some cases, but they're all the same. You took them, take them apart, internally they're identical. This one, this one is identical to this one. Absolutely identical in every way, except this is a male, this is a female. Same performance, same specs. Uh, this is another one. Same copper. Uh, see, yep, same copper. And some of them are different. This is a different design. This uh, does not work, as far as I know, does not even work correctly. It might work with this. I haven't tested it with this. It probably doesn't. I think the uh, I think this might work, but I think it cuts the flow off because it doesn't open the valve all the way. As you can see, it doesn't open the valve. It opens the well part way. And this one, it's like most of these high flow plugs, you can you can put a uh, standard plug in there, but it wiggles, wobbles, may or may not seal. Uh, eventually, it'll start leaking. One thing I like to point out on these uh, Stanley couplers is the Stanley couplers, unlike all these others, has one major difference, which is pretty significant. Every one of these couplers uses anywhere from three to six steel balls to lock the plug in the position. This one does not. It's very unique. It has, you can't see them in there because they're hidden, but it has eight high-tech polymer balls in there. And they will not rust, they will not corrode, and they have an extremely low friction. So unlike all these others, you're free to rotate this because the balls themselves against here have a very, very low friction. So even at very high pressures under load, you can freely rotate the plug with a hose, the tool. So you don't even have to have a separate swivel. It swivels freely, does not wear the plug. You, take, uh, you can put any type of standard uh, plug in here, the M style, and it will turn freely. Very, very low friction. That's not the case with any of these others. In addition to that, uh, the uh, another advantage of those is because they're made out of this type of material and it has a certain amount of elasticity. So when there's a lot of shock involved, a lot of shaking, vibration, for example, if you hook this up straight to a, uh, an air hammer or an impact wrench, it will not damage the balls, which are normally hammer against the plug, will damage it and require that they're made out of hardened steel. That's why many of them are made out of hardened steel. You can put an aluminum plug in there and it absolutely will last and last and last. These things have been tested for long periods of time under heavy use and heavy impact. No problem at all. No need for steel plugs, although steel plugs work fine in here. Okay, so that's a little bit. That's about what I have to say about them today. I hope you learned something.